At this stage of our exploration of OpenGL features, it's a good time to look at geometry, uh, see how we could add colors, and overall examine uh, ways to draw things on the screen. So we're going to take a look at this example that's called Vertex Array Objects and Vertex Buffer Objects. And when you click this link, uh, we're navigating to the list of our source code examples and this is something that um, is referred to as uh, lecture 6.cpp uh, so we're going to click on this link and uh, we'll uh, take a look at this entire sample right here and see what's what's happening inside um, you can build this sample by clicking on uh, GL262 labs and under example uh, subfolder uh, we have um, projects uh, already uh, pre-configured uh, C++ projects uh, that correspond to these uh, examples for uh, OpenGL client programs so ours is uh, lecture 6 buffers and uh, Specifically, I would like to open these two shaders, the vertex shader and uh, a fragment shader, uh, which obviously are stored under the shader subfolder. So I'm just going to uh, uh, drag and drop to open them here. And again, I'll position the fragment shader um, a little bit lower here. And so we can see both of these fragments at the same time uh, so let's uh, let's see what um, is happening and what is expected um, here uh, in um, OpenGL graphics pipeline so well uh, first of all we have two input variables input uh, position and input color um, in our vertex shader and uh, the meaning of this is that this is how the shader is going to get its input, it, its inputs. Vec4 type of these variables corresponds to four, just an array of flo four floating point numbers. So both of these, the position um, and um, uh, color are simply arrays of, of four floating point numbers and uh, we generally recognize components here for the position is x y z coordinates and also w component which we will discuss in our future uh, labs when we talk about uh, space transformations and the colors uh, red green um, and blue and also alpha Okay, so these are the two arrays uh, of, uh, so this is the meaning of VEC4 in GLSL um, programming language. Uh, this is the type that describes uh, four component arrays. Uh, we call them vectors uh, uh, because that's how we make uh, vector math happen uh, using vectors. Um, and so these are the, the components uh, inside these two vectors. So the first question to answer is how we get this input and where is it coming from? So obviously our client program has to supply these inputs and this is going to be the focus of our discussion in this example. Uh, later on, we'll be adding uniform variables uh, to um, make a model, camera and perspective transformations. Um, and this is an example how this would happen. So also, um, uh, in this pipeline, what we would like to do is that we would like our client program to give us the information about individual vertex colors. So altogether, these are called vertex attributes. So each vertex will be uh, supplying its coordinate and the color, red, green, and blue components right here in this second vector then uh, what we do with this uh, with this vector 
we simply assign it to another vector which we declare an output variable and notice that we also declaring the same name color uh, the input variable in the fragment uh, shader so this means that this output here will be will become an input in the fragment shader so essentially our client program somewhere in this pro uh, some somewhere over here will generate an array of colors and this array of colors will be processed by each vertex uh, shader and it simply will be diverted right here to the output which becomes input in the fragment shader right here and furthermore we're going to uh, uh, take this color and pass it over to the output variable that we declare here in the fragment shader and this will become the final color of our pixels um, when we make our drawing so when we uh, do some drawing right here let's say that we draw a triangle uh, so this will um, each vertex uh, will supply the colors of uh, every fragment so this is the process of passing through uh, passing the information through uh, vertex shader and uh, fragment shader and uh, today's focus is going to be on how can we supply the data from our client program to this input in the uh, in the vertex uh, shader and uh, we already discussed that this uh, the position the xyz coordinates in our case are just simply passed over to this global variable inside graphics hardware which um, uh, describes the positions of each vertex uh, in the final uh, drawing so uh, this is the plan uh, and our main focus again is to examine the uh, the organization of this program and how this client program can uh, organize and supply all this information to the graphics pipeline which we control with these two stages the vertex uh, program and uh, uh, fragment shader program uh, uh, which uh, which make um, this drawing possible.